These monks in northeast Thailand are on Bindabat, the daily dawn walk to receive their food offered by the villagers. Not all monks in Thailand keep strictly to the discipline prescribed by the Buddha, but these monks strive to maintain the original forest tradition of a pure and simple life. They're not allowed to possess money, nor grow their own food. This ensures their total dependence on the lay community, so they can't cut themselves off in a spiritual cocoon. The abbot, the venerable Ajahn Chah, has been in robes for 50 years. Here in the forest, you can learn to be in harmony with the way things are in nature. You can live happily and peacefully. Buddhist monks don't practice meditation for selfish reasons. We practice in order to know ourselves, so that then we'll be able to understand and teach others how to live peacefully and wisely. This monk has been ordained for 15 years. He's respected not only for his skill in meditation, but also for his practical skills is consistent mindfulness. Meditation doesn't just involve being at peace with the world. Confronting the self can be like walking into a raging storm. It's quite usual at first to despair even to want to kill oneself. Some people think that a monk's life is a lazy and an easy one. If that's what they think, they should just try and see how long they can stand it. A monk's work is hard. He works to free his heart so that he begins to feel loving kindness, which embraces everything. He sees that all life has the characteristic of the breath, it rises and it falls. Everything that is born expires. So his suffering diminishes as he knows that nothing belongs to him. To help people contemplate the true nature of the body, we have human skeletons in the assembly hall. Because when one doesn't understand death, life is very confusing. Buddha made a distinction between ultimate truth and conventional truth. The idea of a self is merely a convention. Foreigner, Thai, you, the interviewer, these are all conventions. In ultimate reality, there isn't anybody. There is only earth, fire, water, air, elements which have combined temporarily. We call the body a person, mine, but ultimately there is no me. There is only anatta, not self. When we see beyond self, we no longer cling to happiness. And when we stop clinging, we can begin to be happy. Shouldn't be concerned with nirvana or attaining nirvana. If you are, then that in itself will prevent you from gaining nirvana. So what should a monk's main concern be? Huh? The aim is to let go. 
So you have to let go but without striving to let go. That's right, you Mort. should let go without without desire. Mort. If there's still desire and the pursuit to do that, then that's not nirvana. Be mindful and let things take their natural course. Then your mind will become still, like a clear forest pool. All kinds of rare animals will come to drink at the pool. You will see many wonderful and strange things come and go, but you will be still. Problems will arise, but you will see through them immediately. This is the happiness of the Buddha.